Kathy from Waterloo Gardeners and Heather. And this is our member, Stefika. We're social distancing. We do really like each other, but we're keeping six feet apart. <laughs> and Stefika has agreed to show us her garden today, which is quite lovely. And you may have also seen it on Facebook because she's one of our followers to our page. So I'll let Stefika take us away right now and show us around. Hi, okay. welcome Hi, to Jessica. my home, my garden, and my back garden. <laughs> Okay. First, first, I will show you the garden that I made this year. Uh, it's a special garden because it's memory garden for all my family that has passed. And it's right there. Okay, let's go take a look at it. So what have you got in here, Stefika? <laughs> Too many to count. <laughs> a little bit of everything. I hope that they will survive. As you can see, they have holes. Something is eating oh. or everything is eating something. Oh, my, um, this is special rose. The red one is for my late husband. Uh, this one was the beautiful thing for my mom. That is not blooming yet right there. And there is yellow one and the red and pink one for my sister. Uh, and as you can see, yakas are growing. But look, something ate all the buds here. As I said this oh, year, no. look at this, petunias. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, the petunias are beautiful. But they're do doing good and uh, yeah. they give me a happiness because I can go to cemetery over there so I do flowers for them to eat. This rose, rose bush had thousands of flowers a couple of days ago but again something is eating them too so I had to trim it up a bit. Um, they are special flower, uh, roses from all the way from Huntsville to Petersburg and to here and uh, uh, unfortunately, she, uh, she doesn't bloom all summer, just one big, big uh, bunch of flowers at once. Mm. And this is special um, orchid cactus that will bloom pretty soon, nice, nice big flowers. There are some more cactuses over there. Uh, Down behind the fence that, that were in the house, so I keep them where they just got a little oh, bit of sun. you gave me one of these. They've had beautiful blooms. Uh, that one we have most of you, and there are some more on the side, but they're too heavy. I bring them in the house, and I think my break, back will break how heavy it is, and I don't want to separate them because when they are blooming, these huge, beautiful red flowers, you really get a full effect of them, you know? I don't know what they are. I have bleeding hearts, I have chrysanthemums, I have lilies, I have hostas. Uh, what else? Uh, Irises, this is iris. I, I love that one. It's beautiful, dark, dark purple. It looks black. Mm. And this is another little rose bush for my husband. And again, see? Mm. Something's gonna eat that leaf too. Mm. And lilac, this lilac bush, eight years ago when I came, was over there. A little ball on a stick. <laughs> and I moved it and I make sure that I water it. About a month ago, it was pink. Like it had, again, mili millions of flowers, you know? And it smells beautiful when I open window to the living room, I can smell it. Yeah. My favorite bunny is buried over there. So I have a little breeding heart I just planted for him. And uh, in the spring, there were primroses there. Aww. And last year, there were four peonies covered the ground with I had probably 50 flowers. This year I had one pink, small one here. So I said, okay, I'm going to see why the peonies are not doing good and they were doing well for eight years. I dug them up, something at all the roots. Only mm -hmm. tiny little ones were there. Ooh. And I was blaming poor ants because ants are in my, my driveway and I'm trying to get rid of them. So I thought they pay me back that they're not doing good for my peonies. But it was something else that ate the roots. So I moved them away and planted lilies here. Nice. Yeah. As you can see, I have some planters with peppers, tomatoes, um, kale, and cucumbers. There is the little cucumber I saw yesterday. There is one little one here, and one bigger one here. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this big guy. <laughs> and tomatoes, look how short they are. They're, they're not the ones that I ordered, but look oh. at them. They're good produ producers. And this <laughs> tiny pepper, look at peppers are bigger than the plant. Little Hungarian peppers. Huh. But they sh I hope they're not hot. They said that they're not hot. So. 
but this I wish that you came a week ago. This this was really all pink. I trim all the all of them that already finished blooming, but the smell just. I hope it smells in heaven like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this yucca I brought from Petersburg and it didn't bloom till this year. So at least something is doing good. It's and as tall as you. It's taller it will than be taller. You. It, oh. it will be about that tall. It's uh, wow. one that doesn't have many flowers, but they're, they're really tall. Wow. Here is another little vegetable garden. And just to tell you, I bought seeds for kale. And you know what I got in that package? Rutabaga. <laughs> A few strawberries, few peas. Oh, you see, I have one little pea already. But I have strawberries every day. I, I pick few. These are um, from for, for forest, and uh, these are the nice. Oh, well, he's put and, them in there. And sunflower seeds. I started from bird seed that I picked sunflower <laughs> seeds because if I plant them, chipmunk used to eat them. I plant them three times. I said, where did the whole package go? Not the one came out. So I said, I'm going to plant them out inside. So I, I planted them inside. And these are the grapes that uh, my late Tony planted in Petersburg. And I brought little ones here. And they're growing. So first, uh, I, I have every year a uh, few, not too many, but enough. Nice. And li this lily, the last uh, convention that we went to Windsor, I got it as a prize. And it's beautiful pink, really huge pink, pink flower. And of course, you saw my clingia. And look at this is this is a different kind of uh, spider plant. Mm -hmm. Brenda, of uh, Blaine Meyer. From Blaine Meyer? No, uh, Linda and Brian gave me. Yeah, Blaine Meyer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and this is my living room in the summertime, <laughs> where we just had lunch. Yeah. Nice. And that's your bedroom down at the end there. Da. Uh, uh, yeah, da, <laughs> which means yes. <laughs> And of course, okay, we can't we'll forget go, my bunnies. We'll go through here. Look at the bunny. Oh, there's Kathy again. Hi, Kathy. Hi. You've got a nice shot of your feet. It's See, easy I leave some running. grass for them so I can cut them every day when they're inside. Oh, rabbit, rabbit. Hey, hey baby. Oh, you might look hot. And there are the apples. Oh, let's see. The, not these. These. See, they already they they oh. already have worms. Look. Yeah. As I said, this here. Is really bad for for buds, mm. uh, but I have some nice ones here. I told them yesterday. This, these are these are nicer here. Okay. Maybe you have some. If squirrel doesn't destroy them. <laughs> Peach tree that I bought when we went on our second bus trip. Ones or chamomile, but they're not. They they have stronger smell. See, sometimes you pick up something beside the road, then they're nice flowers. And I, by the road, also, I pick up um, flax seed. They were beautiful blue flowers blooming. It's a good start. When I came closer, uh, I'm leaving them for seed. Yeah. And these are nice red lilies. And this, I think this plant comes from Germany. You can never get rid of it. You pull and pull and new roots are coming. But it's beautiful. It blooms last in October. Yellow flowers. Really tall. Oh, and my... Prize winners, peace. Uh, These are eatable uh, pony, uh, pony. Um, poppy seeds. Oh. They're nice double red flowers. Poor colorabi, look how snails or something ate their leaves. And I bought, well, uh, Color Paradise was generous with celery because <laughs> there was celery I bought two packages enough that I could divide see there are three or four here yeah. the same over there so all summer I wouldn't have to buy celery because I can use leaves nice. and the beans I can see they're getting taller than their sticks are you know nice. and uh, uh, the red currants will be here but don't take that job. <laughs> I hostas pretty soon they'll be doing okay. yeah and they were beautiful till two days ago. I think these are snails or earwig, something is eating them. Oh, they're still beautiful. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds here. And 
I would like to know the name of these because I love them. On the sun, they look like gold. White double lilac and white double jasmine, but it's finished blooming. Mm. And I would really love if you can take a picture of my tulip tree, at least. This branch that she still has few flowers. Here's the tulip tree. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, can you zoom on uh, one that's closer so that, that see, it, it's like a little cup. It's beautiful and there are bees and uh, bumblebees uh, in, in the middle. See, there is one. hard to get. See, I can zoom then uh, I take the picture. Yeah, but you can only zoom so far with this. Ah, oh, there's one. Okay. Nice. It's a big tulip tree. Yeah. I'm happy I could uh, show you my labor of love uh, in my backyard, in my front yard, and I hope all of you have nice summer. Stay healthy and stay distant like Via, <laughs> even though we wish to hug. Bye. Uh, bye bye. Thank you. Yep.